Welcome! According to the most recently released figures, the Earth is running a bit of a fever. So let's see just how bad this case of ague is. Let's take a look at the numbers. Over the last 365 days, over 124,000 high temperature records have been set. In the meantime, 30,500 low temperature records have been set. That's a ratio of 4 to 1 favouring high temperatures. While there's a significant difference in these two numbers, it means that the Earth is still warming. Let's take a look at the map for the month of February as to where the global temperature anomalies are. You can see most of it is red, which means temperatures are above normal. And there are quite a few pixels that are the deep red colour, which is where the uh, temperature records are being set. There are relatively few pixels that are blue coloured, and most of them are just cooler than average. There are no record coldest pixels on the picture. In the 138 years of record keeping, this is the second warmest February that has been so far recorded. Let's take a look at the plot. In all three of these plots, you can see there's a distinct warming trend over this period. But something that's often missed here is that land temperatures are increasing twice as fast as than ocean temperatures. Oceans have warmed about 1 degree centigrade above the um, 20th century average, whereas land is well over 2.5 degrees above the 20th century average, which means land creatures, like us, are going to be much more affected by global warming than the ocean creatures. Let's take a look at how extraordinary the last few years have been. This is the month-by-month -month plot of the rankings of each month uh, from 2014 to uh, 2017. Where you have a red first, that means we set a new all-time record in that month. That has happened 24 times in the last 38 months, which is completely unprecedented. Also an interesting factoid to notice is that the last time we had a below average monthly global temperature was over 32 years ago. So unless you're in your mid-30s, you've never experienced a below average temperature month. One of the things that affects global temperatures in the short term is the El Niño-La Niña cycle. For the last couple of years we've been in a very strong El Niño, so global temperatures have been somewhat higher. But recently we've moved into an Enso neutral situation, which is the means that the Southern Oscillation Index is between plus one and minus one. And so temperatures should be moderating, but we've seen very little sign of that so far. The El Niño looks like at the moment that El Niño is measured by, by a difference in temperatures between the Eastern Pacific and the, and the Western Pacific. Uh, and you can see that the big strong red slash that was across the, uh, uh, the Pacific Ocean has all but disappeared now. However, the models are now indicating that El Niño may return later this year, in which case we could expect global temperatures to soar once again. Global sea ice is now at record lows both in the Arctic and the Antarctic. Let's take a look at the Arctic first and you can see that we are at a very low point here with there being over a 6% anomaly in the uh, uh, ice cover in, in the Northern Hemisphere. Similarly in the Southern Hemisphere, a few years ago we were setting high uh, records, now we're setting low records. Uh, so that has reversed as well. So our ice caps and sea ice are in deep trouble at the moment. I have just one question left. Where is the new ice age that we have been promised for the last decade? We were told that as the sunspots went down, the temperatures would drop. First we were told that solar cycle 24 wouldn't exist. Well that was wrong. But it was a very, a very faint cycle, a very small cycle. And so consequently we should have had no global warming, but we did. We had the worst global warming that we've had so far. And as the uh, uh, sunspot numbers have been dropping since 2014, global temperatures have gone up, not down. So we can't expect a new ice age. The warming is going to continue and we need to do something about it. That's all for now. Thank you very much. Goodbye.